Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mr. Wiz here with some more information about Make Code Arcade. If you are new to this channel, we build video games. I did an entire series teaching you how to build games in Make Code, and now I'm doing a series on extensions. There are so many extensions you can use to make your games better. Um, there's a lot of them that are, you can find in the recommended section on the extension area, and then there are those secret hidden extensions, the ones you would only know about if someone tells you about them. So that's what I'm doing now is going over some of those fun extra extensions that you wouldn't know about otherwise. So today's extension that I'm going over is a pretty cool one. It is Achievements. So this one doesn't really change your game at all, but it's a fun little extra visual to give your game that pop, right? So um, what we're going to do for this video is I'm going to add Achievements to a game that I've already made. So this is the game. I've spent a few a few different videos on this. It started off as the aquarium lesson. Um, later, I came back to it when we were doing um, we were doing scaling. That's right. So I showed you guys how to turn it into a scaling game. So in this game, I eat the fish and I get bigger. But if I touch a jellyfish, I will die unless I get big enough to eat the jellyfish, which doesn't happen until I get eleven of those smaller fish which makes it a pretty challenging game, but still a pretty fun one. So what I want to do is I want to add an achievement to this. So when the player does get those 11 points and is big enough to eat the jellyfish, it pops up and it lets him know. So I could theoretically, well, not theoretically, I could very physically um, just add a splash block so that when he hits 11, a splash block comes across the screen to tell him that he's had enough. Um, he's eaten enough to eat the jellyfish now, right? So I could do that with a splash block, but here's why I don't like that. Splash blocks freeze the game, right? It pauses everything, the little bars across the screen. With this achievement extension we're going to use, the game still plays. The only difference is the achievement pops up at the top um, so that the player can see it, but it doesn't change the play. It doesn't pause anything. It's a really great extension. So let's go ahead and download that now. We're going to go into extensions. I'm going to paste the link right here. So with hidden extensions, the only way to get them is with the link. So I will be sharing this link with you guys in the description of this video. So once I paste that in the search bar, it finds it right here. And this is it right there in the toolbox. You'll see achievements. You'll also see some of the other extensions we put in here. The background scroller is another one that I did with this program. So I've added a lot to this program since I first created it. All right, so here's the achievement stuff. It's only these three blocks, so very simple to use. E oh. Let me mute that game so it doesn't distract us while I'm talking here. So the first block is one of those conditional blocks you can put inside of an if. So is achievement showing? So basically, if there's something in your game that you don't want to happen while the achievement is on the screen, or if you want something to only happen when the achievement is on the screen, you can throw this inside of one of those if blocks, right? Uh, cancel all achievement notifications. You can definitely do that or show the achievement. So this is what we're going to be doing. Show the achievement. Okay. So I want the achievement to happen when you get to 11 points. So in this code, you get the points right here when the player overlaps with the fish. If the scale is greater, so this is when we're doing the scale stuff, right? So if the player's scale is larger than the fishes that you're touching, then you get one point. So inside here, I want it to check. So I'm going to put a logic in this. I can, I can actually put it just at the bottom here. So after you get the point and it changes the scale and everything's good, I want it to check to see if you have 11 points yet. So if your score equals 11, because that's when you're big enough to eat the jellyfish, if your score equals 11, then we're going to show the achievement. And it won't stop the play at all, but this is what it's going to do. And we can customize this. This is where it gets really fun, is the customizing part. So with the plus sign clicked, I can select the speed of when the achievement pops up on the screen. So is it going to be up there? Uh, is it moving slowly? Is it moving quickly? With another plus sign, I can give it a header. I usually do like to give my achievements header. And then the last one is the icon. So these are all things I can customize. Now, I don't need to use all these, but I can. So for the achievement, the achievement that they earned is that, um, how would I want to describe the achievement? 
you you can eat the jellyfish. I'll put it that way. And then for the speed, I'll leave it at one. For the header, I'm going to name the header Megalodon. Did I spell that right? I guess not. Is there an O there? Megalodon? Okay, I don't know how to spell Megalodon. Um, is there an O there? Hmm. Oh, there's an A. Uh, that's supposed to be an E at the beginning, not an A. Hey, okay, I guess that's how you spell it. But the Megalodon is a super giant shark that could eat everything, right? There's some movies that have been made about them um, and things like that. So that's why I'm calling this achievement Megalodon. So you know what? Instead of you can eat jellyfish, I'm going to put you can eat anything. There we go. So once they get to 11 points, they have unlocked the achievement called Megalodon, which means they can now eat anything. And then let's give it an icon. I can create my own or I can use one from the gallery. Uh, they got some cool sharks here. I like that. What if I change the size, though? Let's make some edits to it. I just want to show the, the front of the shark, that part. So I'm going to move that over here. And let's shrink this. I'm putting my mouse over it so I can see how wide it is. So this line right here is 17, which means my image stops at 16. So let's change this to 16. There we go. All right, so I'm going to use that as my icon. I like that. All right, let's test it out now. So now I just need to survive, eat 11 of these fish without touching a jellyfish. I did it a minute ago. Let's see if I can do it again. This game is harder than it looks. All right. I got three, four. And of course, every time I eat a fish, I am getting bigger because that's the way we coded it when we did the scale extension. Oh, there's a fish. All right. I'm at six. Let's keep going. I know this is probably not the most exciting thing to watch on YouTube, but here we go. Eight. Just got to get a few more. Oh, no, that one's up there with the jellyfish. I can't reach him. Ah, there we go. I'm at nine, ten. Oh, I almost got it. One more. And then we'll see the extension pop. Up. I'm sorry. There it is. You can eat anything. Megalodon. So that's my achievement. And you'll notice while it's on the screen, I can still move around the screen. So basically, I won the game, right? I'm now big enough to eat everything in the game. Wahaha. So yeah, achievements, super easy extension to use. And you can put multiple of them in your game. The real thing is you just want to figure out when do you want it to appear. So I wanted it to appear when the score equals 11. Maybe there's a special circumstance that happens in your game that you want the achievements to happen. Um, so yeah, the basic idea here is you put what the achievement's for, you give it a name, you give it an icon, but you don't have to do all that. If you just want to give the description, that's fine. Um, it's really up to you what you want it to look like. I like it with the name and icon. I just think it looks better. But it's completely up to you how you decide to use this. So now's the part where I want you guys to show me your games. So build something fun. It'd probably take a game you already had, more than likely. And let's add some achievements to it. What things in your game are worth noting and getting an achievement for? Worth celebrating with the player, right? So create some achievements, put them in that game, and then hit this button right here to copy the link and share it with me. So for the time being, this is the last extension video I'm currently planning on making. That doesn't mean it will be the last one forever. I'm sure I will learn about more extensions as time goes on. And when I find something cool, I'll come back here and I'll add more to this list. But for the time being, this is the last one I'm currently planning on making, which means that if you know of any extensions that are really cool that I didn't talk about, let me know. Drop those in the comments. What extensions do you know about that I didn't cover, that I didn't make any videos of? That would be awesome. I love learning, so that please share that information with me. If you learned something new today, click the like button on this video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later.